Let's have a little prepare your breakfast here. Quick question, Harley. What do you think about the fucking doping control recently? A 62-year-old Masters racer in SoCal, California, apparently got busted for EPO, testosterone, and amphetamine speed. What's the deal with it, Harley? Isn't that's, that's just shocking? That's not shocking, man. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. Like. I've raced bikes since 1997 when I first got my first UCI license. I've never ever been drug tested. The guys I've raced with who's gotten busted though, they got tested, they got busted. Um, you know, testosterone, amphetamine, stuff like that. I've had friends who've taken EPO. Um, testosterone is very common though. Testosterone and stimulants are very, very common. Asthma puffers. So we've got this guy here, he got busted for testosterone. He got the testosterone from his doctor. He got the speed from his doctor. No, no, doc doctors don't sell speed. He got done for, uh, I think it was Adderall or Ritalin. <laughs> Amphetamines. <laughs> they give kids speed in school, so they go... I can focus like a fucking motherfucker. You're taking speed, man? I've taken speed. Take some speed and go... You can focus. I don't recommend doing it, obviously, but what the amphetamines don't do, they de like you develop, or not develop, but they're using World War Two for fighter pilots, so they could just, poof, just zone in, zone in, no distractions, just zoned in, just dialed, dial. I'm, I'm following you. Very common. Kids at university take them. So they call them smart drugs, so they can focus better in exams and cram study. So we've got this cyclist gotten busted for an over-the-counter, well, not over-the-counter, prescription drug, right? T testosterone, very common, very, very common. Testosterone is used by so many people in the CrossFit world, used by everyone at the fucking peak level. Everyone's on the test. In the paleo problem world, it's like they fucking pop it back like fucking nothing. You know, testosterone is popped by the paleo primal CrossFit world like fucking vitamin C tablets. It's just... Do some kips, pop some fucking tests. It's crazy, that's what the women look like fucking men. Which is fine, if that's what you're into. Nothing wrong with that, I'm just saying. Not hating, just saying. So we've got this Masters, right? 62 year old guy doing steroids, t speed, and EPO. And he says, you know what? I don't know why I took it, because it didn't work. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. I mean, I've got nothing wrong with him taking drugs. I think it's a bad choice for your health long term. But what makes me laugh and feel this guy's a bit of a wanker is the fact that he says, oh, they didn't work. They don't work. EPO doesn't work. Testosterone doesn't work. Speed doesn't work. Why the fuck did you take him? You know what I mean? Why do pro athletes risk everything taking drugs? Because they fucking work. They give you 10 to 20% extra. That is fucking huge. That is fucking huge. Remember that runner who got busted last year for EPO? He was going down to Mexico, coming back to the US, just cleaning up the local rounds, local races, beating the Kenyans, etc. EPO, man. <laughs> so you got a good club level runner on EPO beating internationals. And then you got international level guys. If they want to become world record holders, then boom, you got to get on the gear. So the fact that we're getting masters athletes testing positive, getting pinged, getting busted, getting popped for on uh, being on the gear. It's just a sign that how how deep things are going, man. Drugs fucking work. Drugs are part of society. They ain't going anywhere. I don't recommend using them. I've done my time with drugs. The reason why I got off them is I was like, this shit ain't healthy, man. It ain't healthy. It ain't healthy. But we live in a cutthroat world, right? Where kids, 27,000 kids die under age five every day from starvation, approximately. Around 27,000. We live in a cutthroat world, all right? I got my little electric shaver. I got my little papayas here. You know, I got my little silver spoon. It's all good here. But I got, I'm, you know, pretty comfortable. But if I was a pro athlete and you want to fucking get the job done, you want to win, you have to win because your sponsors are going to look, mate. We need some wins, man. We need some fucking wins. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're on YouTube and you're pumping a bit of iron, you're getting a bit of gains. You got a family, you got a mortgage. You're thinking, give me some gains. 
I want to give me some gains, all kinds of gains. I want to be the strongest version of myself. How the fuck am I going to do it? How am I going to be a physique of greatness unless I get in the gear? I think it's the sooner the public knows how much drugs are being used, the sooner we can say, just fuck all the drug testing. Let everyone take what the fuck they want to take. Let's just understand the truth. <laughs> all the big names are juiced to the fucking gills. All of them. What about such and such? Yes, them too. All of them. 100% man. 100,000 fucking percent. I understand a lot of viewers don't have my experience in drugs or hang around people I've hanged around or talk to the coaches behind the scenes like I have. I understand that people are no, you don't understand. I understand a level you will probably never understand because you haven't been associated with people I know. I don't really name names because there's no need to do that. I'm just saying it's just how it fucking is. It's like if you want to grow a papaya, you can't put the fucking seeds in your MacBook. You've got to put them in the fucking ground. If you want to be a big name athlete, you've got to use gear at some level. 100%. There's no exceptions, man. Pharmaceuticals fucking work. If you want to be really aesthetic as fuck, you've got to use gear. 100% no exceptions. It's just how it is. Where this guy snuffed up is he got his testosterone from the doctor, he got his speed from the doctor, and he got his EPO from somewhere else. Or maybe the doctor, I don't know. But it's hard to... You can't get a therapeutic use exemption form for EPO and still compete. That's not how it works. Testosterone you can use and still legally compete. As long as you tell the doping control prior or your sporting federation, hey, I'm on this... My doctor gave me this script, I'm on testosterone, I'm on steroids, can I still compete? They're going, yeah, you'll still compete, thanks for telling us you're on steroids, that's okay. If you didn't tell us, then we would have, you know, you would have gotten banned if you were tested positive. So, and here's the thing, to test positive for testosterone, you need to do a carbon isotope ratio test. They would have done that. What they would have done is test this guy's testosterone, every testosterone ratio. That would have been fucking probably 10 to 1 or something. In cycling, you have 4 to 1. So in cycling, you can have... 400% higher testosterone than normal, alright? Your epi-testosterone testosterone ratio is your E to T ratio. What a lot of people do is they take epi as well and take testosterone so you can just bring your fucking levels right up and still keep that, you know, 1 to 1 ratio or 1 to 4 1 ratio, but you just fucking crank your T levels right the fuck up. The smart people do that. The smart dopers do that. So this guy didn't do that. He tested positive. He fucked up. All he would have had to say is just tell the Federation I'm on testosterone, doctor gave it to me. And they're like, no worries, you, you got a therapeutic use exemption form, fine. And then next, we move to the next one, speed. Hey, I'm, guys, I'm on speed, my doctor gave it for my attention deficit disorder. The Federation said, no worries, you can still compete. Thanks for telling us. That's why, you can be on speed, you can be on testosterone, and then you can be on painkillers as well. We don't even need a script for painkillers, but painkillers fucking work. Popping 500 milligrams of Tylenol, you won't feel your fucking legs when you're sprinting. When you're attacking, you won't feel shit. You just go. So painkillers are legal, very, very effective, but they can put you in the fucking emergency ward when your kidneys fucking shut down. So I don't recommend using them, but they're fucking common as fuck. So, you know, it's, it's, it's quite amazing this guy tested positive for things that people take in every race. Every race around the world, people are taking drugs from the doctor, speed, under scripts, or testosterone in every race. But this guy fucked up. He didn't get a therapeutic use exemption for it. And it's a weird system. It's a weird system that you will test positive for medications that other people are using, but they got a script from the doctor. Crazy. It's fucking insane. That's why I say it's not cheating, because fucking everyone's pretty much on it, man. Everyone's fucking got the same options. I remember a local rider got busted for testosterone. He's a doctor. He was a doctor, so he had really good, you know, getting good quality shit. But again, he fucked up. He should have just got a. He should just give himself a therapeutic use exemption for, <laughs> and he wouldn't have got a two-year suspension. You know, so people just I don't know. They just they don't think. I don't think so. If you're gonna use gear. I don't recommend doing it, but if you're going to do it, save yourself the hassle of getting busted. Get a therapeutic use exemption form. You can still use steroids and speed and compete as long as you get a therapeutic use exemption form from your doctor. 
Alright, so if you're going to drag up, get a script. 